Hey there, welcome back. So I got a request from someone. Here's a message. They're asking if they could see how you can transfer objects, uh, a model from Lightwave to Blender. I thought I should do this. It's not really a hard process. Let's do this. So let's load up an object. Say we have an old object that you made in Lightwave. So this is my object. So I made this some time back. This thing is subdivided. So I'll firstly advise you to lock the geometry. So push Ctrl D on the keyboard. Notice it actually multiplies the number of geometry that you actually have here. It means it has locked the first subdivision level that you had. So meaning if you push tab now, it can subdivide, but the first level of subdivision that you actually had remains the same. Second, let's go to save and then export. I actually gave it a try with uh, FBX. Uh, I don't know, I just didn't get the good results. But uh, anyway, I still went for uh, OBJ. I saved this. So you just click save here and you will get, this is for the material, the MTL. I will not save again because I already did that. And then once we are done, let's, we can close this up. And in fact, let's just open Blender. Okay, so I'll open a new object. Let's get rid of the cube. We can just push X on the keyboard and we get rid of the cube. And you come under file here. You say import. And here we want the wave front, OBJ. So click this. And now just go where you saved your object. So I have a folder here called FBX. I actually made a new folder. So this is material, that material, um, file that I showed you and uh, the bunker bed itself so let's just import this let's see the materials first so I've noticed everything it puts all the objects into one that's for a start like it doesn't divide them here so we only have one object bunker bed that's it well in Lightwave, I actually had the background in a separate layer. So you would have to separate them yourself. And that's actually very easy for a start. So let me just do that. Let me show you. You can actually do several of these afterwards. So I'll select this, the background. So you can select one part. This is the first mode. Select this part. Hold down Control and the plus on your number pad. It increases your selection. And once you do that, you push P on your keyboard. And then here, select this selection. And it will create a new layer. And you can actually rename this if you want. So we are in edit mode, by the way. That's one thing I didn't mention. Uh, if you couldn't select uh, this, you have to go into edit mode. But object mode is like a standard where you, when you open, you're just in edit mode so you can rename this you push f2 while selecting it and then you can name it say background pg that's it as you, i'm sure you've noticed the bed has come in pink let's go under shading here so here what has happened is in blender wherever you see a pink color like this it simply means uh the software cannot find the material it's empty there's no uh, there's no material there. There's, it's not colored. It's not. It's not anything. So if I go under surface here, on the, this on this blob thing here, notice there are materials here. And I must mention, I've actually noticed this thing has dragged my machine like hard, uh, loading up the materials. But after I did that, it was smooth. It went back to normal. So. Uh, don't worry if it actually does this it's just for that time when you are actually um, loading the materials it brings up the materials here all the materials that you put up in Lightwave they are still here properly and all you have to do is just uh, 
reassign them. Uh, it's like it receives, uh, it, it comes with the material and it knows this is like plank or the pillow texture, but it actually does not reach it. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my machine. Uh, let me know in the comment section if if yours works better, but this is the experience so far that I've had. Okay, so let's start with the plank material here. Look, uh, for those who who are not using nodes in Lightwave, uh, I'm afraid uh, in here you just have to learn a little bit some basic of uh, nodes, which will actually help you a lot. So this is the image material. So this one always goes into the base color. By the way, this shouldn't confuse you. This is the same as uh the pbs in pbs df almost the same as the one in lightwave where you have your color here at first and then some materials and so on some of this stuff like you can change it to 0 0.5 the specular i would recommend you actually take those back to to the default notice uh, there is an image here that is showing but I don't know why it doesn't reach it so what i've noticed that actually works is you look for so you know the title of your image terrible wood and then you open it so you go where you've saved it um my materials on bunker bed and yeah here tell terrible, terrible wood and just open that and notice the wood is back so you do the same with all the other materials in here now that i'm done uh loading up all the materials this is the object i don't if you actually notice let me just um uh, take this to the shaded mode so here on top we change it to shade mode and if you look at this okay it's still loading though if you look at this and then you look at our object here it has come back the same so i personally see not much of a difference especially in the polygon count the geometry is one thing i'm actually happy with because that was one thing that actually scared me a lot the first time i actually thought of uh changing moving from uh, moving my objects from light wave to blender I thought the geometry would actually spike up it would be insane but well it actually looks good look at this see this look at that geometry right there and then come and check it out here same so you can now reserve your object to whatever you want and if you want to separate stuff you can separate them just by selecting one and pushing p on the keyboard then you create a new layer for those who are moving from lightwave to blender i hope this actually helps so that's it bye bye catch me in another video which i'll be posting in the morning tomorrow well morning here so bye bye